So a little while back, I made a video on a company called Viper Tech, and this review was only based on the specs of their machines that they listed and really nothing else. Now, this is the criteria that I do for most of my PC company reviews. If your machine has a decent parts list for the price, then I would usually recommend it, mostly because there is some sort of guarantee of getting your money back when using a major credit card holder. For those of you who don't know this, if you end up buying something and it ends up not being what they were supposed to be, you can go to your credit card company and ask them to charge back the transaction and more times than not, they will give you your money back from the person that you purchased it from. So with this in mind, no matter how shady most of these companies seem, I usually will give them the benefit of the doubt because as the consumer, we hold most of the power in these transactions. Now, when I finished that review, I was fairly happy with it. It wasn't a video that got a whole lot of views or anything, but it did all right, and I was happy to leave it at that. A couple of weeks went by and I got a message in my Discord that said hi and I really did not think much of it. And I didn't respond right away, mostly because I didn't want to answer another PC question and I just wanted to play some games at the moment. As I was kind of winding down for the night and you know getting ready to turn off the computer and go to bed, I remembered that DM in the back of my head. Uh, and I replied with a hand wave emoji. Now, the next part was the guy asking me some questions about Viper Tech uh, in the video that I did on them, and I answered his seemingly random questions at the time. Uh, and after that, he sent me a message that said, and I quote, All right, so I should say I wanted to share my experience, but I would like it to be anonymous. If he was looking to grab my attention with one line, he, he had me hook, line, and sinker. Uh, now, I can't disclose a large part of our conversation for those anonymity reasons, so I'm going to try to get as close as I can without making any missteps in the info he is allowing me to use. From our conversation, this man, or whom I assume is a man, had some sort of business run-in with the owner. Now again, I cannot disclose more details on this, mostly because any more could give away his identity. I have some extremely good reasons to believe all of his run-ins are true. Our conversation consisted of telling me insider information about some business practices that are not very ethical. But before we get into the juicy stuff, I want to remind you guys that if you end up enjoying the video, leaving a thumbs up really helps me out, and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more content. Let's get back into the video. Now, I can't do a they said this and they said that video again for anonymity reasons, but what I will say is a lot of the things that they brought up internally about the company were reflected in customer reviews, which makes this a lot easier for me to get why you shouldn't buy from this company ever. The first link the dude sent me is a link to the page on the BBB, aka the Better Business Bureau. So let's fill in those of you who don't know what the BBB does. The BBB is a nonprofit membership organization with chapters throughout North America that, according to its website, are focused on advancing marketplace trust. It promotes that mission primarily through two functions, rating business based on their reliability and performance, and facilitating the resolution of consumer complaints. The Bureau also provides consumer education and offers several programs aimed at helping businesses adopt best practices. So basically, this entire organization's job is aimed at making sure businesses keep their crap together and are not screwing over consumers. So let's take a look at this link, which will be linked in the description if you guys want to go and check it out for yourselves. They have five different complaints, only one of which was resolved in a manner where the consumer expressed that they were satisfied. That's a 20% success rate, not great. The company also has no rating from the BBB and is not accredited. I am of the firm belief that a lot of the time when a review is written is because the consumer is having a problem with the product and they want it fixed. Most of the time when the item works as it is supposed to, most people don't care enough to write a review, thus inflating the negativity of most reviews. So we just can't look at one place like the BBB to get our final verdict, and our buddy on Discord didn't disappoint. He honestly must have a folder dedicated to bad customer reviews from Viper Tech because he just kept sending and sending me stuff. So let's sit and read some of these wonderful reviews off some very well-known sites like Amazon and Newegg. Won't play games like Fortnite, no returns. Does not play games like my son wanted, shuts down randomly and fans don't spin. Asked to return and was denied. Also, these are made with motherboards from old second generation computers like Dell, etc. 
build your own for less money. Bad computers and don't honor warranty. They don't honor their warranty. Nephew's PC failed and they ignore messages. The computer has a broken leg. There was a fan error code on the screen. Sent emails complaining to the seller. No contact from the seller. Very upsetting. Took two days to respond and they said they see it marked as shipped but hadn't shipped it yet. So it's on its way now and have a good day. Looking at the tracking info today, still waiting for an update on UPS and Newegg site. I have no idea if I will get it before Christmas. I bought two desktop computers for my kids and at this moment I am worried that I might not get them. If they are in motion and heading my way, I don't have any way to track them for arrival. I don't want them to be stolen from my house if I'm at work or not at home. Stressful situation and I'm at a loss of a solution. 11 days since I bought them and 5 days from the original estimates of arrival. Please Please help me if you see this comment. I contacted customer service a second time today. Wrong CPU when arrived. No display port to HDMI connector, like said, and no RGB controller. And my favorite one of all, don't do it. I originally ordered a gaming PC for my son for Christmas. Not only did it arrive two and a half weeks after the due date, the front leg was broken off. The IO shield was missing and there was a system fan error on the screen. We were able to bypass it, then there was a blue screen that came up. It would do a hard restart of the PC. It did this every time it was left on, pretty much every 5 minutes. I emailed Newegg about getting a replacement PC or just getting my money back. All of a sudden the Vibratech dude, Alex, shoots me a text and says he would walk us through this via text message. I asked him to physically call me, at first he declined and then he finally did call me. We did everything he said to do, it didn't work. Got off the phone with him and he texted me saying that they would send me another hard drive. A few days later it arrived, it still didn't solve the problem. I texted him saying I wanted my money back, he didn't respond. I emailed Newegg and asked what I could do to see if I could get my money back. Of course that made Alex finally answer my text. He told me that the time period for getting a refund was over. I still just wanted my money back, you know, I mean my son and I were stuck with a $340 piece of junk. He's started texting me and he said and acted, well he was not acting like a professional at all. I reported him to the BBB, I mean I was so frustrated, he sent me another PC during this time. I didn't want it, I wanted my money back. Since trying out the replacement PC, we've had to go in and constantly try to tighten the area that the graphics card is in. This is BS. I will never ever buy anything from Viper Tech again. The reviews I would say are much less than subpar. For these reviews, we can all gather that Viper Tech doesn't have good customer support whatsoever, even for a PC company. They really don't like to give any sort of refunds, and most of the time the case that you order for your PC is going to be in some shape or form damaged or just isn't going to be the case that you ordered or that is pictured in the photos on the site. As well, they are using really, really old hardware and they brand their PCs as gaming, but their lowest end PC costing $320 can't even perform at the level at a Ryzen 3200G. Now, I don't think I can say for legal reasons that this company is a scam, but for a lot of reasons, I would say not to buy from this company, foremost of which is how hard it is to get a refund. It's going to be much more of a headache and you probably aren't saving any money even though these PCs are dirt cheap. They really do suck and you should not buy them. Maybe check out a company like VRLA Tech or CLX, both of which I have videos on if you want to know more about these companies and their gaming desktops. So guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, this video was a little bit of a response to my first video that I made and I wanted to correct some of the stuff that was brought into light that this guy sent me on Discord. Uh, I really don't think anybody should be buying from this company just because I think that them trying to withhold refunds is a really shady tactic. Um, and for how many times they've been reported to the Better Business Bureau, I probably wouldn't even contact them. So make sure that if you guys did enjoy the video, that you leave a like on the video. It really helps me out as a content creator. And consider subscribing to the channel for more content. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, have a great day.